Hi guys, uh, I've had a couple of busy weeks behind me. Uh, I received my solar panels. This is uh, only one, but I got three of them, uh, three times uh, 135 watts. They came directly from China, uh, from a company called uh, Link Solar, who's also a sponsor of my website. Uh, I specifically chose these uh, ETFV panels uh, uh, for the, yeah, to keep the van as uh, stealthy as uh, possible. They, they have a few advantages over rigid panels, uh, and that's mostly the flexibility and the weight, uh, which is important for the whole conversion. But I'll get uh, more into that uh, in future videos. Uh, in the meantime, uh, I worked on uh, the window frame and finished what was still left. That works out beautifully. I see that the wall panel just bows in a little bit, so I have to make sure that that's attached. And yeah, this is still an open question at all. That looks good. But now with the side panel in place, just behind the driver's seat, what happens is that the wall panel is pressed towards the side and that opens up an area here behind the, the window frame. So what I'll do is I'll cut off along the panel so it will come in and put a strip on the panel so it'll be flat to the window frame. I glue some wood onto the side panel and will be the support for the wall panel itself. Uh, and I'll even it up with the side of the board with a uh, router bit. As you can see, uh, with the support on that sideboard behind the wall, it's now secured. I'm now starting with the uh, supports behind the toe kick. That's these four. And I already made some markings on the floor where to put them. First, of course, a little bit of cleaning, which is highly necessary. I'll do it a little bit better on the final installation, but... This is the location. And just to prevent And these squeaky noises. I'll put it a little bit away from the from the wall. During my recent trip to Georgia, I found out that it's sometimes difficult to find a level spot to park on. So uh, I solved that by installing a few leveling guides. And this is a little bit off sideways, even more lengthwise. This is the second location, and that's on the side of the passenger seat. Okay, that's number one. Indicator, but now I know where I am. So, that looks good. I 
I also continued working on the cabinet by honing my hinge hole drilling skills. The next issue that we have are the cabinet doors and they will be built with uh, concealed hinges, the European style. If you have the cabinet door, you put the hinge on, it has to go about half an inch deep. So the wood for the cabinet doors should be at least 5 eighths of an inch thick, otherwise it would go through the wood itself. I have difficulties getting uh, 5 eighths and I don't want to go to uh, 3 quarters just because of the weight. <sighs> So what I'll do now is uh, let it dry for probably about 10 minutes or so, 10-15 minutes, and then I'll apply it. Okay, I had it dry for about uh, 10 minutes, and you can see, or maybe not, it's glossy and it's sticky. I'll start this one a little bit overlapping. And as I said, I'm not that much worried because it's a test piece. Hi. Hello. So, do you agree with the Formica? Yeah? Okay, thank you. And it really sticks immediately. So after drilling two test holes with uh, this Forstner bit, I found out what I uh, thought would happen. On the double-sided uh, Formica door, if I would start drilling a hole, and this hole not even should even be a little bit deeper because it's still wiggling, uh, but. You can see that the point of the uh, Forstner bit comes through the other side of the Formica. So that doesn't work. So, so what I have to do is put Formica on one, one side first, drill the hole, and then put a laminate on the other face, which will cover the hole. And then I would still have a working door. In the next couple of weeks uh, I'll be focusing on these cabinets and the solar panels. Uh, I've ordered uh, quite a few things for the solar installation and as soon as they arrive uh, I'll put the panels on the roof. That's it for now. See you next week. Hi guys, this is Joey and we're building a one-of-a-kind RV. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video give us a like and subscribe or better yet uh, leave a comment. Thanks guys. You've done a good job. Thank you.